Water is being pumped into a partially filled tank at a constant rate through an inlet pipe. At the same time, water is pumped out of the tank at a constant rate through an outlet pipe. At what rate in gallons per minute is the amount of water in the tank increasing? So here, in order to know how much the water is increasing, or even whether the water is increasing or decreasing, we'd need to compare the size of the inlet to the size of the outlet. We'd have to know how much water is being pumped in and how much water is being taken out and how do those two numbers compare. That's what would allow us to answer the question. Statement number one tells us the amount of water initially in the tank is 200 gallons. Well, that tells us zero about how much is being pumped in, how much is being pumped out. That is an absolutely useless piece of information. So that is entirely insufficient. So forget about that. Now statement number two. Here, we're told that the rate water is being pumped in at a rate of 10 gallons per minute. So we know an inlet rate and water is being pumped out at a rate of 10 gallons every two and a half minutes. So we know an outflow rate. We know the outlet rate. So now we know the rate at which water is being pumped in, the rate at which water is being pumped out. And we could subtract these to find out how much water is building up in the tank. And again, because this is data sufficiency, we don't actually have to do this calculation. It's enough to know that we could do this calculation and answer the question. So statement number two is sufficient. One is insufficient, two is sufficient, and this is answer choice B.